Hey guys! So today I'm going to be showing you how I got this makeup look right here using minimal products and no foundation. All I did was spot conceal, but if you need more coverage or you want less than this, you can customize it to your needs. But if you're interested in seeing how I got this look, then please keep watching. And then I'm going to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape. This is the shade Medium. And because it's a little bit too light for me, I haven't gotten a tanner shade yet, I'm going to go in with this NYX Pro Foundation Mixer in Warmth. I have it in lighter too. This is really good to have on hand. I'm not using a lot. I'm just going to use about that much. Looks like it'll match okay. To take that on a Morphe M334 under where this darkness is, I'm going to take some on my eyelid too to even all that out. Sometimes I don't do that, but today I feel the need. Because I've got a little bit of redness right here from where I exfoliated this morning and on my chin. A little bit on these, this breakout going on right in through here. I'm going to go ahead and apply some down there. Like I said, this look is just spot concealing. And by spot concealing, I must mean just throw it all over your face like a foundation. Because it looks like that's what I'm doing. Dear God, Dustin, get real. And even though that covered a pretty good bit right there, that cut that concealer is considered full coverage anyway. It's really good. So, but I'm still going to go ahead with this Sigma Concealer S70 for a more precise uh, application on this inner darkness right here that's a little bit harder to get with a with a bigger brush. And that looks a lot better. I, it still looks natural, but it's not like overdone. You know what I'm saying? I am going to go in with my Benefit Hoola Quickie Contour Stick. This thing is like so good. And I'm going to blend that out with this Morphe E48. Normally, I would use a beauty blender for this, but I didn't wet one. I forgot about it. See how easy that was? I barely even did anything. It's, this product is so good. Even though that product is super easy to blend out, I didn't want to bore you with a five minute clip of me just, you know, doing nothing but blending the product out and not talking. Um, and also, I apologize for me not properly being in the camera all the way. I didn't realize this when I was filming it, so I apologize for that. It will be getting better. Unfortunately, it's this way throughout m most of the video. And again, I apologize. And then to blend that, blend that out a little bit more seamlessly, I'm going to go in with the Morphe G36. And if you didn't notice that uh, I didn't actually contour with that product, I mostly just bronzed. It's a really good multitasking product for if you don't want to contour. If you want to bronze with it, it's still good. You just apply in a, a bronzing motion. It's really good for that. 
fact, I do it that way sometimes more than I do contouring. But it's obviously good for contouring too. That's how it's marketed. I just don't always use it that way. And I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Dream Bouncy Blush. The color is called Pink Frosting, number 10. And to apply this, I'm using the Luxie 522 Tapered Highlighter Brush. And to blend that out just a little bit better, I'm going to use this Luxie 504 Large Angled Brush. Because we don't want any harsh lines right here. Or anywhere. <laughs> okay. And then for highlighter, I guess I'm going to use this Milk Makeup. See, it's like, I've used it so much, so you can't even tell what it is. But yes, it's the Milk Makeup, and the color is called Highlighter. Okay. Let's see, what brush am I going to use for this? I guess I use my fingers. blend that out just a little bit better with this G34 again. G36, I'm sorry. I'm going to go curl my lashes and do my mascara. I'm going to do it off camera because I'm so messy with it. And like I said, I'm always messy with my mascara, so I did make a few mistakes. But as soon as it dries, I'm going to clean that up with a Q-tip. And now, I guess I'll work on my eyebrows while that is drying. And once again, I'll be right back. Okay, so I just filled in my brows with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz and Dark Brow. And because the spoolie of mine broke off, I used the, the spoolie of the Anastasia Perfect Brow Pencil, I think is what it's called. And I watch um, Glam, Rock, Glam Life Guru, Toggy Westbrook. She is, I love her. She's amazing. Uh, and she's very dedicated too. She watches it. She makes a, uh, she posts five days a week. You should go subscribe to her. She's amazing. I really like her. Anyway, she said in a couple videos ago that she, uh, her brow whiz is always, the spoolies of them always break. I don't know why. This is the first one I've had and she's right. <laughs> they do. So I guess now I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. I know you can't really see what I'm doing here. I'm just applying a clear brow gel. Again, I apologize for that. It'll get better. I did a little something extra around my eyes that I wanted to try out. I took these two brushes. One is a Morphe E18. It's a pencil blending smudger, whatever you want to call it. And this is a Morphe 432... 432. It is kind of a definer. I took some dark brown eyeshadow. I used the Urban Decay Naked Basics. I used these two colors at the very end right here, kind of mixed them up. And then I put, I got super close to my lash line up here and up here, up here and down here. I used a magnifying mirror and I I, pl I applied it with this, kind of smudged it up just a little bit, kind of made eyeliner in a way on both eyes. And then I used this brush to kind of blend it out, smoke it out. You know, I just wanted to try it out and see how it looks. I kind of like it. So, if you want to see how I did that, then like an in-depth, just let me know and I can do a video on that. It was pretty easy, easier than what I thought it was going to be. Okay, so now it's on to lips. Now I think that this um, makeup look will be com completed. I'm gonna, for, for setting spray, I'm gonna use 
both of the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray for Long Lasting since It's going to be hot today and possibly rainy. So I'm going to go ahead and spray one or two little sprays of this. And then go in with the Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray. Because it's high dragging, I just like this one. Two second sprays are not necessary. One second spray is not necessary, but. Okay, and now for lips, I am going to go in with the Tartus Lip Liner in Legogram by Tarte. And if you want to, you can leave it like that and just put on a lip balm. I think that's a pretty look, too. And I'm going to go in with this NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the color Instomble. I mean, you could leave it like that if you don't want to, but don't want a super glossy lip. But... Because I do, I'm going to go in with NYX Butter Gloss in the color Creme Brulee. If you can't tell, I really like NYX products. <laughs> okay guys, so I believe that that is the completed look. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you have any requests or any questions or anything, just let me know down below in the comments. And uh, I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching.